Life Audio. Hello. Thank you for listening to Your Daily Bible Verse, the podcast that examines one verse each day to learn more about God and His will for our lives. I'm your host, Grace Fox, and I'm inviting you to learn more about my books and subscribe to my devotional blogs and updates. You can do that on my website, gracefox.com. And now, after this short word from our sponsor, we'll dive into today's Bible verse, 1 Peter 1, 6. You may only be familiar with the Salvation Army by the bells we ring at Christmas. But did you know we also produce a network of Christian shows you can listen to on your favorite podcast store or even local Christian radio station? One of our shows, Words of Life, is a weekly 15-minute show featuring powerful interviews and testimonies. So, I sometimes call him my, yeah, my angel because I just feel like the Lord put him in my life in the perfect time. When I think Engaging about- conversations about topics impacting the church today. About it. And that really gets back to this fundamental question within Christian ethics. What does it mean to be made in the image of God? And I think that's one of the most important questions we can And get. deep dives into scripture. This divine appropriation of the Holy Spirit that God now dwells in the believer. That not only do Listen to Words of Life on your favorite podcast store or visit SalvationArmyRadio.org to learn about more shows produced by The Salvation Army. Hey there, it's Nicole Eunice from the How to Study the Bible podcast, and I'd love to invite you to join us as we weekly discover a passage of God's Word together. From beginning to end, from principles to practicals, we are here to make sure that God's Word is powerful and relevant to your life. If that sounds like something you're looking for, I would love to invite you to subscribe. You can go to lifeaudio.com and search How to Study the Bible, and we'll see you there. Today's Bible verse is 1 Peter 1, 6. In all this you greatly rejoice, though now for a little while you may have had to suffer grief in all kinds of trials. A dear friend of mine has experienced so much loss. First, bankruptcy. Then a drunk driver killed one of her adult daughters. Next, a hurricane destroyed her home and all her material possessions. Shortly afterwards, cancer claimed her husband's life, and a few months later, the same disease took her son-in-law. Humanly speaking, my friend has had many reasons to weep, and she has done so. But she has also proven that it's possible to worship while we weep. In every hard situation she's faced, she has chosen to praise God for his faithfulness, comfort, and sovereignty in her life. She has consistently chosen to give thanks in the midst of really tough situations. And today, as a woman in her late 70s, she is one of the most joyful people I know. She's a living demonstration of the lesson within the context of today's Bible verse. The author, Peter, wrote today's verse during the Emperor Nero's reign. At that time, Jewish Christians were being thrown out of Jerusalem and scattered across the region of Asia Minor. Christians throughout the Roman Empire were being persecuted and killed for their faith in Jesus. They were considered traitors and atheists because they neither worshipped the emperor as a god, nor did they worship at pagan temples. They also refused to support businesses that prospered from immoral practices and they refused to adopt the Romans' conquest mentality. The believers suffered dearly for their faith, and so Peter wrote this letter to encourage them and to bring hope. The words he wrote then apply to believers who are being persecuted for their faith today, but the principle he taught applies to believers everywhere in difficult circumstances, no matter what the cause. So let's take a look at his teaching to discover what it means and how it applies. Today's verse begins with the words, In all this you greatly rejoice. We look at the verses directly preceding to understand what he's talking about. 
in all this, in all this what? What does that entail? In verses 2 through 5, Peter reminded his readers that God had chosen them long ago. Jesus had died for them and cleansed them from sin when they placed their faith in him. And the Holy Spirit was now working in their lives to give them victory over sin and to mature them in their faith. He reminded them of the tremendous privilege of being born again, of of having a new beginning and being adopted into God's family, thanks to Jesus' death and resurrection. He spoke about their priceless, eternal inheritance waiting in heaven for them, and about God's mighty power protecting them until the day they would receive that inheritance. These spiritual realities were the things that gave the believers cause to rejoice despite their suffering. These were the things that brought them hope when circumstances seemed hopeless. The words greatly rejoice imply a state of joy and gladness that's beyond the normal joy felt when life goes well. This is supernatural and it's made possible by faith. No matter what trials the believers faced, Peter wanted them to know that they could experience exuberant gladness because of their position in Christ and the knowledge that their eternity was secure in his hand. Today's verse goes on to say, In all this you greatly rejoice, though now for a little while. For a little while. These words reminded Peter's readers that in the scope and breadth of eternity, their present difficulties were only a little dot on the timeline. Yes, they would suffer, but only for a short time, not forever. His teaching paralleled Paul's words in 2 Corinthians 4.17, which says, For our light and momentary troubles are achieving for us an eternal glory that far outweighs them all. Peter also mentioned that the believers may have had to suffer grief in all kinds of trials. He was gently intimating that God had a purpose for their pain. There was a reason and there was something good to be accomplished through their afflictions. Rejoicing in the face of difficulties, worshiping as we weep. This is a theme woven throughout the New Testament. The ability to worship as we weep is not something we can muster on our own. It comes when we, by faith, understand our position in Christ and cling to the promises of God. No matter what suffering we endure, it's only for a brief moment in light of eternity. This pain, too, shall pass, but not without fulfilling God's purpose. My friend has endured suffering and loss more than I can imagine. She has wept, but she has worshipped at the same time. The joy she exudes everywhere she goes is a living testimony to the truth and power of Peter's words. We, too, can worship as we weep because of our position in Christ and the countless spiritual blessings God has given us. Let's pray. Father God, we thank you for loving us and for making adoption into your family a certainty when we place our faith in Jesus for salvation. Thank you for sending Jesus to die on the cross to pay the penalty for sin that we deserve. Thank you for raising Jesus from the dead and for sending the Holy Spirit to live in us and change us. When we encounter situations that cause us to suffer, please remind us of all the amazing spiritual realities that we possess because you love us. And help us then to worship even as we weep. In Jesus' name, amen. Your Daily Bible Verse is a production of Life Audio and Salem Media. If you liked what you heard today, please take a second to rate and review this podcast in your favorite podcast app so that more listeners like you can find the show. For more faith-filled, inspirational podcasts, visit us at lifeaudio.com.
the greatest red carpet you'll ever walk is through your front door. We're Dr. Josh and Christy Straub, marriage and leadership coaches and hosts of the Famous at Home podcast. With a realistic, grace-filled look at the struggles families face today, we cover topics designed to help you become a rock star under your roof, set healthy rhythms between work and home, and build a rock-solid marriage. To listen now, go to lifeaudio.com or search Famous at Home on your favorite podcast platform.